Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. In today's video, let's talk about what is a leg operon and how it works. An operon is a genetic regulatory system commonly found in bacteria. In an operon, genes coding for functionally related proteins are clustered along the DNA. This system allows protein synthesis to be controlled coordinately in response to the needs of the cell. In other words, the proteins are produced only when they are required. By doing this, the cell gets to conserve energy. Operons may be repressible or inducible. Inducible operons are usually switched off. They can be switched on by a molecule called an inducer. These proteins are usually enzymes and are only required when the substrate is available. Hence, the expression of the operons is typically induced only in the presence of the substrate. For example, the leg operon is an inducible operon that encodes enzymes for the metabolism of lactose. Repressible operons are usually switched on. They can be turned off when the protein is not needed. The molecule that switches it off is called a core repressor. For example, the tryptophan operon is a repressible operon. It encodes enzyme for the synthesis of the amino acid tryptophan. It is always switched on to produce tryptophan as the cell continuously requires it. However, when tryptophan starts to accumulate in the cell, it can act as the core repressor to switch off the operon. The leg operon is an inducible operon. It contains a regulator, a promoter, an operator, and structural genes. The regulator or regulatory gene codes for a repressor protein. It is produced all the time, and its concentration does not vary in response to molecular sickness. Promoter is a specific nucleotide sequence in DNA that binds RNA polymerase, positioning it to start transcribing RNA at the appropriate place. Operator is the binding site of regulatory proteins to control the expression of the operon. The structural genes codes for enzymes needed for the breaking down of lactose. Lexi codes for beta-galactosidase. It hydrolyzes lactose to glucose and galactose. Lec-Y codes for lactose permease. It is a cell surface protein which increases the uptake of lactose. When the gene is expressed, the permeability of the cell to lactose increases. Leg A codes for transacetylase. Its exact function is unclear. In the absence of lactose, transcription and translation of the regulatory gene leads to the production of a repressor protein. Repressor protein binds to the operator. This causes the RNA polymerase fails to bind with the promoter and travels through. Hence, Transcription of the structural genes does not occur. No enzymes produced by a translation. It makes sense as in the absence of lactose, the enzymes is not needed by the cell. When lactose is present, it acts as an inducer. It binds to the repressor protein. This changes the shape of the repressor protein, so it cannot bind to the operator. RNA polymerase can now bind to the promoter and travels through. Transcription of the structural genes can now occur. Translation follows, and the enzymes are produced. If you think my videos are useful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do share it with your friends as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at the comment section. Thank you for watching, and see you again soon.